I have a bag of sweet onions here. There were five of them in here. And the first thing I did was I removed the peels on two of them. You know, these brittle, dry, protective layers that form to protect the juicy live layers inside. So the purpose of this experiment is to see, you know, if you bisect an onion this way or that way, you know, which of the halves will survive and grow into new onion plants. And to answer that question, first I removed these peels then I put two of them in a Ziploc bag, a zipper bag with hydrogen peroxide. You know, 0.5 to 1% is fine. Let it fizz for 20 minutes. And then I put them in a setup like this, which may look kind of crazy at first because your first instinct would be to put these in dirt or water. But in my experience, a lot of tubers, bulbs, rhizomes will rot very quickly if you put them in dirt that's too wet or if you soak them in any kind of hydroponic solution. So at this stage, I'm just keeping things dry. And as you can see, for these two, it was a slice straight down the middle. And they've already started to dry out because it's been 24 hours. So yesterday, I would count as day zero. And today is day one. And it looks like we have some changes already. There's a bit of a greening uh, over here, over here, you know, on the outsides, uh, very close to these bulbs. And these are very weak bulbs, only 500 lumens. We can measure the light input or output later on. And you can see the clean cuts through the internal parts of the root bulbs that supply water to all of these onion layers. So it's quite an interesting structure, but most of the roots were dry, you know, probably rotten and got ripped off during the production and shipping process. But as you can see, there's already a candidate for, you know, our first shoot right there that's turning green at the tip. So that's just within 24 hours and it wasn't like that. In the beginning, it was just, you know, freshly cut. And these sweet onions smell really sweet. They filled my entire living room with this great fragrance. All right, it's day two. First thing I noticed this morning was this had fallen down. So I'm gonna try to get it out. Although there's some water in there. So, gosh, it's kind of hard to get out actually, it's stuck. But um, before that happens to these four, you know, I'm gonna have to do something. So, uh, I've been making these Coke bottle, um, basically watering bottles by sawing like this. And then, um, you know, at some point you get through, or you can use scissors, and eventually you'll come up with some setups like this. Now these have all been rinsed, and they used to be Coke bottles, basically like that. And then I, I just use scissors and kind of cut like that. So uh, I can start doing some transfers now before these dry up too much and basically shrivel away to nothing and fall down. So um, they used to be far too big for these kinds of setups. And they still are to some degree because it's, it's kind of tilting and much heavier than uh, the bottle itself. But I imagine I have my trusty bottle of hydrogen peroxide here. And give you another demo on how I've been watering these things. So I think just that, you know, spraying every few hours, that's water getting into these roots and nourishing the bowl in terms of uh, water intake because you never want to have a tuber that can't uptake water. That's a problem with my Sunchoke series. And for this one, yeah, I don't really know what to do other than this. You know, there's there's not much to do. Keep everything moist. And, uh, yeah, these things are kind of on the verge of falling over, but for the time being, this is the best I can do. All right, it's day four. And as you can see, there's been a little bit of development here. That's going to become a plant, in my estimation, and let's see. 
thing has shrunken quite a bit. Uh, the roots are doing well for something that's, you know, just suspended in air. But bear in mind, this forms almost an airtight seal right now. So it's like almost 100% humidity in there. Uh, where these bulbs are at, it's probably 29, maybe even 30 Celsius. This one, it seems to have a little bit of green somewhere in there. Um, not sure if this can develop a root system on its own. I think it possibly can. And these two, you know, that's well out on its way to become the first, uh, you know, healthy shoot. It's getting fatter. And if you look closely, let me try focusing, you can see a bit of root development. And if I keep spraying there, I've been spraying there like twice or thrice a day with hydrogen peroxide, roots will start growing from that uh, internal bulb. So these things always look dry, but you know, every time I spray, water is going in. So this has gotten fatter. It's possible that this layer, maybe even this and this, you know, um, are capable of generating shoot. So I'm going to take a look at this one. It's very interesting. It's kind of come loose. So, you know, uh, we can see what's going on inside. Um, just looks yellowish. And for this, you know, could that possibly become an independent organism? You know, who knows? Um, I'm kind of tempted to put this like that and just try to grow it like that because uh, I don't really see how this thing can develop roots properly if it's facing right side up all the time. So it's kind of like a Hershey's kiss and hopefully it'll develop on its own. But for now, this will make for a cool photo op. All right, I've rearranged my light setup to make way for this. This is a giant pistachio container. And I have the four main onion bulbs, but you know, the good stuff from the one that was uh, the top half of a slice, you know, which is over there, you know, that's now hollow in the middle. And I took out four little cones. So they're clearly not attached and it looks like they could become four independent organisms in addition to whatever might, you know, give birth from that. But uh, this setup is basically a Pyrex dish upside down. It's sealed and I'll spray hydrogen peroxide. I can close this for 100% humidity and it'll keep these things uh, nice and happy because they're far too dry and too hot being that close to the bulbs. All right, now that we have this all set up, I'm gonna spray my hydrogen peroxide and that'll increase the humidity to 100% after I shut this. So I'll be pretty generous with this because uh, plenty of room for runoff anyway, but you know, you can see the four cones around here and uh, that's eight different things going on at once. And hopefully this will be a lot more fruitful and productive than it was before. just back this up it does have a rubber seal which I'll attach later but for now you know this will do just fine and uh, quite the interesting setup never had anything this fun before so um, we'll see what happens for next episode